Hi Manu. I am just getting myself a coffee and getting everything set up. Oh, you did alright. Like, the game's not for some people. I know some people don't like it and you don't like it, but you did pretty well. There we go. So I will show you the hospital we were doing last time. Because I had to pretty much redo the entire thing. Yeah, it's like Hollow Knight and stuff like that. Like, I will be trash at those games, I know. I'll probably get really frustrated with it. But I love watching people like Snow and Danny and Alex 
like play those games they're really good at it so yeah this is the hospital we were doing last time so i had to get rid of the reception area and just go back to desks because there physically wasn't enough room for people to get through so with it only being like a tile or two wide all the queues were just getting bonged up and people were dying and getting stuck just because they physically couldn't get anywhere so i had to shuffle a load of stuff around to open it up here's our fancy research room with a whole rack full of servers and we actually needed the benches not long ago and we're still getting earthquake warnings constantly but yeah, we, I had to reshuffle a lot of stuff just so people could actually move through the hospital properly. Um, I stuck one of these rooms, these fracture rooms, right near the entrance. Just because we were getting constant emergencies to do with them. There we go, another earthquake. But yeah, I put in another reception there as well for people coming in through the emergency entrance from the helicopter and stuff so they can go straight through there but people off the street go into that one and yeah i've got the world's weirdest looking toilets just because i managed to jam them in at the bottom and then another fracture of clinic here Deluxe room, there's our tiny little training room, and then all this for research. And the, this was another area. We ended up with six GP offices in the end, just to cope with the amount of people coming in. So we've got three GP's offices here, and three there, all pretty close to the desks, just because we had that many people. But yeah, it took forever to get this hospital to three stars. We ended up having to... Uh, one of the three star requirements was an 80% cure rate. And it literally just kept going up and down and up and down because it only ca it only counts the last 20 patients. So I had to get 18 of them and just every now and then one of them would die and ruin it. I eventually managed it. I think that was more through luck than anything else getting the 80%. But new hospital today so these are all three star and you have West one Flemington hospital in the wealthy town of Flemington so I think this is where all the rich people live hopefully means we can drive up prices a bit welcome to Flemington a wealthy town where people have more money than sense sounds like you Manu I think we can make a killing here, pardon the expression, if we can get ourselves a marketing license. We can use marketing campaigns to improve our reputation, attract more patients and recruit better staff. I suggest we focus our research and marketing on an illness that has been playing the area for a while, animal magnetism. So we can start advertising the hospital here, this will be fun. So what do we need first? Complete the pest control research project and diagnose a patient with animal magnetism. And um, we've got a pretty basic shaped hospital. So, I'm going to think reception, smack bang, maybe a GP's office either side if they'll fit. Nah, slightly too big. Um, Oh, great. Let's put them here. So, GP's office. Uh, give him a lamp. Medicine cabinet, just in case. A bin because everybody needs a bin. Do we need radiators here? Um, what's the temperature like? We do. There we 
we go. So we've got radiator, um, coffee machine, because everybody loves coffee. And a plant. And a gnome, because everybody has a gnome. Yeah, PP's office. Everybody needs a PP's office. Got to get checked to make sure everything's working properly. Um, so we've got some points to spend. Let's see if we can get him else, anything else for this room, shall we? Trophy case. Different flowers. Skeleton. Cupboard. Radiation box. All the cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's get that. Nice little nitrous oxide dispenser. Um, what other stuff? Paintings, awards, kind of a clock. There we go, he's got a clock. And we'll get him something to help with diagnosis, shall we? An arm bot, radiation box. I'm going to get an arm bot. Let's see what this is. <gasps> that looks cool. Need to reshuffle things a little bit. Right. Move the bin. Well, let me put the bin. Might let me move. Move you into the corner. Put the bin under the clock. There. And then we will put arm bot on this side. Seeing as it fills like half the room. Arm bot. There we go, GP's office. And then do the lazy copy and paste to the other side. A reception area. There we go. Right, and hire some people. So, assistants we've got. Alfie likes to argue, has potential. Has an opening for the role of best friend. We've got Tex, who is hygienic and only... Yeah, we'll have Tex. You'll do. And Ernest has potential. And is a class clown and sick of string sections. So we'll get those two. Uh, doctors. So we've got somebody who is a GP. Terribly dull. But has potential and is hygienic. Yeah. We'll have you. And we've got, you're a psychiatrist, Juliet Fossil, but you're nasty, no. And we'll get Robert Flug, because we can always train you up later. Um, what else do we want? Rooms. So we've got GP's office, so we'll put... I'm trying to think of the best way to do this now. Yeah, let's go for central aisle of rooms as well. So, put pharmacy here. No, wait, not pharmacy. We'll put a ward here. So 
that is we can make it bigger how far along is this we got 13 so we'll make you five shall we and i shall use the pods again because the pods are miles better than everything else Windows so everybody can see in. And then all monitors. Uh, hand sanitizer. We'll put a large radiator in here because I have these unlocked now and they will do that entire room and a plant or two how many plants can we fit in? fitting in up here? no oh great you can have one plant then and where can I stash the gnome? over here by the desk there we go, we've got a ward And we need nurses for the ward. You're pretty well qualified. High energy. Minus 25% learning speed, which is fully qualified already. Heartthrob. We've got pharmacy. Ward, ward. Stamina training. And injection. You will do nicely. So the other rooms we need are... Put one of the pharmacies here. Or put the pharmacy for now. The bin. And because there's machines in here, we need a fire extinguisher and a hand sanitizer and a radiator. And then the all important plant. Uh, we will put one of these NOS machines in here just for the hell of it. And a clock. And can we put a medicine cabinet in here? We should be able to. Where is it? Medicine cabinet. There. Pharmacy. If we'll get any other nice nurses. Littera. Good at diagnostics. Likes to argue, no, I don't want you. And you're good at diagnostics, yeah, we'll have you. Let's open the hospital. Start getting people in, start making it look pretty. So, temperature. Get one of these large, ra large radiators. That covers a fairly large area. We'll put one here as well. You know, That'll do for now. Over 20 stations all over the world. Even DJed in one of those cities under the sea they don't want you to know about. But this oh yeah, I should probably buy some janitors, shouldn't I? Move you around. Yeah, money's what it's all about on this one. We'll be doing advertising and all sorts. All three of these can deal with ghosts. We've got romantic, unhygienic, no. Teacher, hygienic and tireless. Right, we'll have you for now. We're not a massive hospital, so. Plant. I have also noticed, or it's been pointed out to me, that I have a habit of trying to make things symmetrical in my hospitals, which I did not notice before. Right. 
put some entertainment in, like some leaflet stands. Uh, we'll put. Magazine rack and some vending machines because vending machines make us money as well. Not much, but they do. So, oh, we've got the luxury drinks machine as well now. Right, so we'll have a regular drinks machine and a luxury drinks machine with moose juice and a bin. Not unless Bart's been taking those pills you've been giving him. Right, we'll put the bin there. Oh, can we get a new kind of benches yet? Yeah. Oh, fancier benches, seeing as I'm putting them everywhere. We can, we can get a sophisticated bench silver or purple ones or a bamboo bench. I'm gonna get silver benches. There. Any questions? First ask yourself why that might be. We all have our differences, don't we? Morning people. Night owls. Noon bandits. Right, what other stuff can we plunk around the hospital? Arcade machines. Gubbins come in just one. Endless gameplay. Patience and staff. Mm. And I get the endless one. There we go. What game does it? Dungeon of the Endless. It looks like a roguelike game. Right, we shall have. At least one arcade machine then. What do you want? New illness, potty mouth discovered. When the patient opens their mouth, terrible things happen caused by drinking water from a toilet sink or a toilet. Yeah, we've had that before. Right, what else can we put down? leaflet stand there. So, wood, pharmacy, GPs, we'll probably do some more diagnosis stuff. Right. Filing cabinet. Bin in case they need it. And there's our first death. See if he turns into a ghost. And dead. And he did. Get him, janitor. Do not treat them until you're 100% sure what it is, and don't shout about cues until there's at least 10 people. There. Staff are reminded that this isn't a laughing matter. So cardiology next. This is Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Welcome, my friends, my chums, to Two Point Radio's haven of culture in an otherwise blighted landscape. 
Oh, it's this guy again. Nigel Bickleworth, here to amuse and delight you. So we need a psychiatry, so we'll get them to wait and we'll build one over here. Uh, da, 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 psychiatry. Right. Now, I want some new stuff for this room. Can I get the fireplace yet? Because I know there is a fancy fireplace. Yes, we can. Right. Now, we can have sat in front of the comfy fire while you diagnose people or treat them. There. Put a changing screen over here. And can we get the fancy bookcases as well? Got a regular bookcase. Got diagnostic. And a treatment bookcase. There. Got a proper fancy psychiatry room now. So, clock. We need plants or something. Put the rug in. Cozy rug in front of the fire. Need the gnome. And a plant. We squeeze in a coffee maker as well. Yeah, we can. There we go. Decent psychiatry room now. Looks nice and cosy. And go again. So we've got psychiatry. What else do we need? We definitely need a research room. We've got cardiology. We've got general diagnosis. We've got a ward. We still need staff room, toilets, research for now. So we'll do. How wide is this? You are seven, so a four and a three. So, tell you what, we'll have the staff room. So, um, radiator, got there, need a plant, definitely need a coffee machine and a gnome in here, so gnome you can go over here, coffee machine, where are your clock? Oh, they've added loads of new stuff for this level. But for now, coffee machine. Where are you? Am I being blind? There you are. And for the coffee machine, we need a bin. So there's our staff room. Now for toilets, and we will build research and training on the other side.
we fit the radiator in over here? Yeah, we can. You're on the line, aren't you? There. Um, gnome. To go in the corner. There we go. So we got a staff room and toilets. Now, um, oh great! I know where I'm building research. If you ask Here. Me, uncle has overstepped its bounds with its latest treatment for wonky ankle syndrome. So we got the desk. It involves transplanting the foot of an athlete to the patient. Goodness knows what their treatment for athlete's foot might be. So we are going to splash out on this research room. Servers. Filing cabinets. Uh, we definitely need an extinguisher or two in here. Um, we should only need a small radiator because the servers are going to produce a lot of heat. Some plants. It's possible that you're the only one hearing this. Hello. <clears throat> Sounds like the kind of announcement I'd do that. Hi, Alex. Um, where are to put the holograms? Alright, let's me put them there. Cool. Our fancy research room and then a brain in a jar because every good research room needs a brain in a jar there so you want a promotion cure six patients with mucky feet in a ward um, cure ten patients and impress the VIP yeah fancy research holograms I just need an actual researcher now, which we have here. You. No, I'm limiting you to research straight away. Um, there. You're only allowed to do research. And you will be... That's the one we need, isn't it? Pest control. Yes. Go and do that. New illness, mucky feet discovered. Yeah, this is our research room, Alex. So, this is like the project desk. These are individual desks for the researchers. And server racks, because apparently they go in the same room as you do the research. New illness, night fever discovered. Psychiatric condition leading to spontaneous outbreaks of dancing caused by prolonged exposure to mirror balls. And yeah, if you look at the heating, don't need radiators when you've got server racks in the same room. They just do all the heating for you. So... There is another thing I can get for this room. Um, can I get it yet? That basically lets you deposit ghosts in it, um, like Ghostbusters style. And then you can research the ghosts to improve on them that way. Um, doesn't look like we have access to that yet. No, not just yet. But yeah, the Matrix style screens are pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure nobody is supposed to be doing what she just did.
but yeah, big matrix style display screens. Right, um, what else do we need? We've got research. They're not asking us for any other rooms yet, so I'm not going to bother. But I am going to sort out these drinks machines and stuff. So, another large radiator. Are you there? Yeah, that's right. And we'll put one this side as well. And that's pretty much the entire hospital heated. So, time to make it pretty again. And then we'll probably have to have a look at staff. sides with this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just going to dot these plants around. Another ghost. Right, what else do we need? Put you up to two first, so we can have an extra staff in the ward if we need to. We don't need. Aha, we need the pest control room. Get him to wait, see how long the research takes. First, I think we're going to need more staff, definitely. So, GPs, likes to argue, no, don't want you. Class clown, puts out of order signs on things that aren't. We will have you. So that puts us at four doctors. Motivated, hangry, but you're good on the ward, so we'll have you on the ward. We've got, we'll work for peanuts, funny, and you can also use the injection room, so we will have you as well. Four nurses, got two assistants, let's look for another janitor. You're good at upgrading, good. Positive, hygienic, and a teacher. And upgrade that for a start. Special report. Well done, we cured another patient group. This has helped our reputation, we've been sent a reward. Cure six patients, we cured three out of six. <laughs> Only 50%, not that good. But, suppose we're alright for now. Um, what else do we need? Oh yeah, I need to sort out more benches and snack machines and stuff, so. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. Snacks. Drinks. Salty snacks. Put a couple of bins around and then a couple of luxury drinks and uh, some entertainment stuff. Oh yeah Alex we've got arcade machines as well now so I can just plonk down arcade machines in the hospital to keep people amused. We'll have one there and one there.
And we need a couple of arcade machines on. No, not you. Arcade machine. There. It has perhaps escaped and we'll have most, but two point one here as well. And then the more benches. Bridge. If you enjoy crossing things, you simply must experience it for yourself. Yeah, apparently there is a mod somewhere that lets you, like, go into them, but I've not been able to find it anywhere. I've seen it mentioned on a couple of forums, but I've not been able to find out who made it or, or where the mod might be, because it's not on the Steam Workshop either. All the benches in the world. And we have this little area here for expansion. A lot of patients are queuing outside rooms run by doctors. Uh, pest control, you can wait because we are researching it. Let's get another janitor in the meantime. Yeah, it is. It's uh, this is the rich area, so it's supposed to be like the highly specialized one. So you don't get much area to start. You have to save up so you can expand it. But at the moment, we don't need much. Like we've got the pharmacy, we've got psychiatry, but our psychiatrist seems to have gone walkabouts. Get another one. Uh, wants more money? No, no. We won't have you. Where is our psychiatrist doctor? Oh, it would be the one who does research as well, wouldn't it? Right. We will just have to take the hit. There. So yeah, this is supposed to be the area where all the richest people live. So we're just sort of bleeding them of money and we don't actually need to cure much at the moment other than psychiatry and the ward and the pharmacy we've not need, needed much else so let's upgrade a couple of things I just sworn I heard somebody playing the arcade machine then. I was trying to see if I could find them doing it. Let it never be said that I, Sir Nigel, am merely some city-bound dilettante incapable of roughing it in the wilderness. Why, only the other day my chauffeur took a wrong turn and we ended up eh. on the edges of Tumblewood. Right. Um, this bracing encounter. Money is getting quite low. Well, they can afford it, so... There. Bump everything up by 10%. I'm not getting alone, I'll just charge them more. This is the rich area, we can bleed them dry and get away with it. So we've diagnosed animal magnetism, we just need this research to finish, don't we? Lead them for all that they're worth. You can wait. We'll look another psychiatrist. 
and they're a researcher. Tell you what, we'll put you in research as well for a bit. There, you are only allowed to do research, but you will double up the speed of it. The awards are every year. Can't remember when in the year though, it might be actually be at the year's end, like on 1st of January or something. We're close to yep, 1st of January. Let's see if we can get anything. Definitely not getting that one. Duh, duh, duh. Right, let's see who's got what. Burp Award for Rising Star is for us, for Cassandra. Employer of the Year. Also us. No deaths goes to Bungle. That no deaths one you can cheat as well. Because there is a, an achievement for it. And you can do it just by not putting a reception down. Then nobody can actually get into the hospital. No patients will ever turn up. Just do that for a year and no deaths. Best teaching hospital is Holistics, because we've not done any teaching yet. We have Patients' Choices, Holistics. Most prestigious is... Us! Yay! Best Research Hospital is Orb Foundation. And then Hospital of the Year. Holistics. Oh, we've got a couple of them. So we've got Rising Star, Employer, and Most Prestigious. So we've got a bit of cash and stuff from that. There we go, that's going up much quicker. So we have you and you just doing research. Cool. Scanner needs maintenance. Come on, come on, fix it. So yeah, we got a decent bit of cash from that. See if we can catch this shaker hand machine doing anything. Oh look, it's waving. Oh, Alex, I have not used my cords for Back for Blood yet. I still have them, so I will message Danny later with one if she's not managed to get one yet. Promotions for staff, yes. I suppose we should put a training room in. We'll just put a small one in so we can do a couple at a time. Windows. Uh, it's a staff request, so you can get things uh, 
very very rarely or it unlocks new items but mainly it just makes people happy and um uh, like makes your doctors better gives you a better reputation with hospital <laughs> I've not heard that one before. So. No. There. There we go, we have a training room now. So promote staff, ward emergency. Six patients with mucky feet. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, student doctor to junior doctor. So, should we make you a dedicated researcher? Courses of research trainers. 195, 130, 110. You shall teach. And pest control research is done. Great news, the Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a marketing license. This will allow us to run marketing campaigns to improve our reputation, attract more patients and staff to the hospital, build a marketing room and hire or train an assistant with a marketing qualification to run the campaigns. So now we can advertise our hospital and go, oh look, look at all the cool stuff we can do. So I need a room for animal magnetism first. Uh, pest control, there you are. You need to be four by four. Hmm. Tell you what. We are gonna redo this room. Get rid of these. And we will put pest control in here. So, uh, pest control. That looks cool. It's an ultrasonic cannon. So, uh, I need a bin. Classic Barbara. What else could we put in here? Um, and sanitizer. There, we've got a pest control room. New illness, lycanthropy discovered. Once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is a making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon, or possibly from door handles. Research is ongoing to discover which. Send them to the pharmacy. And unfortunately we failed. And we will promote Robert Flog. So I want to see this thing in action now and see what it does. Need to build a new research room. Doesn't need to be as big now, so... There. We can still have two desks, we'll just shuffle things around a bit to fit them in. So, monitors, stick. Um, 
Yeah, a couple of servers either side. Research monitors. We've got. Filing cabinet. We'll give them a coffee maker. Put it right next to the server rack, the best place to put liquids. And then a couple of planks. And there's our new research room. So, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. The pest control one. Yeah, I quite like the look of the server room. I like how they've done the the matrix style screen savers and stuff on it. Uh, not now. Grey anatomy. Wait. Promote you. So we need to make. Is it chromotherapy? It's called. Grey Anatomy, yeah. Are we running out of coffee? Or are we running out of I knew fit perfectly in there. So share workflow before they share love in people that work together. We simply hadn't seen anything like it before. It's something really very special. And that's rare. And it's special and it's really very rare. The Roger and Cushion Classic. People that work together. Streaming now on Bungle Pictures. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio. Um, what else do we need? Always need a bin. There, we've got a colorizer as well. Cured four out of six patients for monkey feet. Mood poisoning, dangerous in injection room. You're going to have to wait until we've got a new building. Um, let's get that one for 50, 60, 60, 40 for a little one, 55. Um, we'll save up for 60 and get this one. Oh, hospital's nice and warm again. Now we need to redo all these plants and stuff. haven't been watered and because there is mess so I might need another janitor or two movie star visit film star and onion pickler Roderick Cushion is in the area receiving an honorary decoration from Mitten University for contributions to things that get watched his agents have asked if we'd like to host him for a visit while he's here if he's impressed with the hospital it could be good for our reputation and he might even make a donation, what do you think? Yeah, let's have him visit. See how he does. Hi, Trua. Hi, everybody. You have caught us in the middle of making a hospital in the rich area. So, it is quite compact at the moment because it's the only building we have. Hi Sherry, hi Lynx. So, 
yeah we're uh we're in the rich area so i've already put prices up once i might do it again at some point and how did roller coaster tycoon go like is it as hectic as this is and have you managed to kill anybody with a roller coaster yet? Because I did that quite often when I played Roller Coaster Tycoon. Right. More staff. I want somebody to go to this and let's see what it looks like. Ah, so you're just learning your way through it. Because you said you used to play that game a lot when you were younger. Ah, cool. Is that your Christmas present from her then? One of. So you've got more to come. Uh, you've got something to look forward to. Research doctor's gone. Are they on break or something? Where are you? You're on break. You come here. You are just a research doctor now. And who was the other highly qualified one? So you can do everything. You're going back into everything. And you're on break. Cool. <gasps> PlayStation 1. I had a bunch of games for the PlayStation 1 that I do want to play again at some point. Our doctors have discovered a new condition or a new illness, a mind crisis. A psychiatric condition that causes the sufferer to perceive things that don't exist. Usually boxes within which they are trapped. Some scientists have speculated that the box may both exist and not exist. Leading to the well-known thought experiment, Schrodinger's mind. We'll send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. And we need a fracture ward. And somebody wants a promotion, so we'll get this building now because we can afford it. It'll take a few days before we can actually use it, but we can start building stuff in there. Oh yeah, I was going to get another janitor, wasn't I? Because of all these plants. So, uh, charming, can't even, tires easily, cheap. 
grumpy and hygienic cheese for brains. Um, we will get you and you can be on plant duty. Wrong button. Jobs. So plants, rubbish, waste and fighting fires because everybody should do that. So we have our new area. Roderick Cushion was so impressed with the hospital he wants to make a movie about his visit. He's offered to buy the rights and everything. This is some great publicity and sounds like an enthralling movie. So we got max rewards from that. And our doctors have discovered a new illness, a boggled mind. A severe boggling of the mind often caused by exposure to new, sometimes paradigm altering information. Through careful analysis of the condition, scientists have been able to derive the equation mind equals blown. Sadly, this equation has proven to be entirely useless. We'll send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. So, what were the other rooms that we needed? Um, we needed a PANS lab. We needed a fracture ward and we needed an injection room as well as marketing. So, if I go and put, how big is this? Six, perfect. So, fracture first. Windows. Got some lockers for the, them to put their stuff in. Wall monitor. There. Um, filing cabinet for records. This is Ricky. We'll need a large radiator in here, I think. This is Ricky Hawthorne. Like a brain full of it. Hey, it's Ricky Hawthorne. That's the one. That's the one. Do that. Do that. That's the one. Ricky, you're on fire. You're on fire, Ricky. Those are brilliant. It's like he's just forgotten that he's supposed to be on the radio. So he's going through all his warm up stuff on air. A fracture clinic now. We need. We also need an injection room and we need. Is it a pans lab? You're eight, so we'll go four by four. And out of money. They can wait, they need an injection room, they can wait, send those guys here, go away. And then out of money. So I'm going to jack prices up again because I can. These guys will pay it. Uh, thanks for the follow links. Right. Uh, 
Now we've just got to wait for money to come in. Oh, we need the marketing room as well, don't we? We'll build the marketing room next. We'll just stick it in the corner out of the way or something. Can always move it later if I need to. Oh, have you not seen the lurk text before? Yeah, it was a. Uh... Statnex gave me the idea for it. So we were talking about them. I think there's a D-Lurk one as well. I can't remember whether I put one in or not. Let's have a look. Or maybe not. Maybe I forgot. Or did I call it something else? Uh, commands. Oh yeah. It is on lurk. There. These guys can all wait until I have more money. And how much is this marketing room? Seven thousand. Leave your toilet at home with chocolate sponge. Why are you unhappy? Made with the most absorbent edible substances that science gave up waiting for an injection room. Eh. With more liquids than time. Ah, so get all in. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. Um, right, we'll cheat a little bit and pause it while we make the marketing room and it can go in this little corner for now. But they have the little meeting table and like a desk to do research at. Windows. Filing cabinets. They're going to need a radiator in there because it's going to be cold. These guys are definitely going to need coffee machines. And plants. And a gnome, because everybody needs a gnome. And um, what other stuff can we put in here? Drawing boards. Tactics. Get some fancy stuff for the marketing room, shall we? So we get a drawing board. We can't get the tactics board. We get armchairs, because working marketing is always a crusty job. My auntie will tell you that she works in marketing and buying. Like the place I work for, they have over Christmas, the people who work in the call center only get uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day off. Like marketing, warehouse, everything, everybody like that is closed from the 20th until the 2nd of January. It's only the call centre staff who have to be in, which sucks. It does mean I have to work some of that as well to support the call centre staff. There. So we have a marketing room. We need an assistant to work in marketing. And look, we've got one right here. Inspiring has objectively bad opinions, right? You are only working in marketing. I'm taking you off everything else. D 
there. And can we have more than one person in here? I think we can because we've got two desks at least. But we will just leave it at him for now. And we will do a small campaign for three months. Oh no, illness marketing, we can do it for specific ones. Animal magnetism, I need 16 grand for that. So we'll just do a small campaign, like a regular one first. And go. To start a marketing campaign, click on the marketing table or drop an assistant with a marketing qualification into the room. General campaigns improve the hospital's overall reputation. Recruitment campaigns attract more job applicants of various types. Illness campaigns attract more patients exhibiting certain symptoms and improve your reputation with specific illnesses. Note, unlock more illness campaigns by discovering more illnesses in the area. In the game or, in, or at work, Alex? In the game you get angry people every now and then, but they're usually just hungry or something like that. There it is. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, in the game you get angry people, but rarely. Like, they're usually just hungry or tired or something like that. And if you've plonked around enough vending machines or entertainment, they're usually fine. Uh, at work, I don't have to deal with angry people very often. Um, most of my job is supporting the other staff that are there, but I specifically support customer services, so I deal with all the complaint staff and things like that, and they have to deal with some horrible stuff. Like, it's probably a good thing that I don't have to deal with complaints and that very often. Like, I do help out with them every now and then, because... You would lose faith in humanity listening to some of these people. Like, people will complain about the pettiest of things, and they will take those complaints as high as they can go. Like, because the company I work for deals with financial products, dealing with credit, the highest authority is the financial ombudsman and if somebody takes a complaint to the ombudsman it costs the company regardless of whether that complaint gets thrown out or not and some people will take the pettiest of things up there I can, I can talk about Tesco because I don't work at Tesco anymore Tesco does financial products they've got their own credit card and things like that there was a guy who believed he was being overcharged on his interest for his Tesco credit card who came into our store and they don't actually deal with any other stuff like that in store in the stores they get referred to like a helpline but this guy would come into the store every day demanding that somebody deal with it we would refer him to that line every single day until eventually customer services like used their outside line phone on that desk to phone the number for him and the guy stood there for an hour got emailed all of his information got emailed calculations to show how his interest was being calculated and everything like that and he still didn't believe it like he just thought we were faking the math or something like that couldn't work it out himself so took his complaint all the way up to the ombudsman just for the ombudsman to turn around and tell him that he can't add up properly but because it made it all the way to the ombudsman it cost Tesco it cost them like almost 600 quid just for the ombudsman to turn around and tell this guy that he can't count <gasps> awards again right let's see what we've won if anything we got the Rising Star Award. 
that we're going to get Empire of the Year again. Yeah, Alex, that's how it works. Um, the ombuds re ombudsman reasoning for that is that they shouldn't allow complaints to get that far. So our player of the year is for us. Not Sherry, because Sherry is rubbish. And yeah, it's a complete waste, Alex. You gotta think as well for the complaint to get that far, how long they've spoken to people in the call center, like how many times people have dealt with emails, how many people have had to send them letters and things like that. <gasps> no deaths goes to Jumbo Mega Corp because we kill people regularly. Uh, Sherry got scammed. Teaching Hospital goes to Jumbo Mega Corp. Patient's Choice goes to us. Not Sherry. Most Prestigious goes to Holistics. Best Research Hospital goes to us. And last of all, Hospital of the Year. Goes to Holistics. <sighs> ah well, we did alright, we got half their awards. It's a decent bit of cash. And we cured 5 out of 6 with the emergency. So, means we have extra money for building things. Oh look, Sherry won nothing. Poor Sherry. We need an injection room. <laughs> that's a good one Alex I'll admit I tend to do stuff like that like when I get a spam call on my mobile or something I will see how long I can keep them on the line like I've been getting a couple lately for uh, what was it complaining uh, oh yeah they were claiming to be HMRC, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, saying I'm being investigated for, fr for tax fraud and things like that. And I will just leave them on the phone for as long as I can, see how long I can keep them going. Like, I know my dad has messed with them before, because my dad got called for one of those ones where they try and get into your computer and they say, oh yeah, I'm calling from Microsoft. And we have detected that you have a virus. So like my dad, like I know my dad has messed with them before. I know I remember at least once where he sat there just in his chair talking to them and they're like, oh yes, we need you to enable a remote connection so we can uh, fix your computer for you and get rid of the virus. So my dad was just blabbing it, saying, all right, what do I need to click on? Right, what do I do next? And they're telling him all this stuff, like, oh, yeah, you need to go to your start menu. I can't see a start menu. So, yeah, you need to go down, like, on the bottom left of your screen. There'll be an icon. So oh, I can see some icons down there, like, which one is the start menu? It says, oh, it says, it's, uh... It says, oh yeah, well, it'll look like a, a little square with four different colours in it. Or it might be a grey box, like with four boxes there. And they're sat there talking through it and he's playing dumb the entire time. 
and they eventually hung up on him because they were sat there and he's got they're going oh yeah you'll see a little windows icon you can just click on it it says i can see a few icons uh one of them it looks like an apple with like a bite taken out of it and when he said that they hung up on him so i laughed my ass off at that one that one were brilliant hi theraya is it theraya theria 99 You have caught us in the middle of telling stories about scammers. <gasps> yeah, I am on. Uh, this is the, the first of the rich hospitals. I forgot what it's called. Is it Flemington? <laughs> yeah, go for it. So I have just unlocked the marketing and I'm just waiting for people to turn up with animal magnetism now which there don't seem to be any I also seem to be low on nurses so yeah feel free to say hi to everybody we've got a discord as well did I actually put the discord command in I cannot remember we shall see I did yeah the multiplayer challenges uh, I've not done many of so far oh I actually have some earn the most money let's bugger it let's accept them I always forget the multiplayer challenges are a thing hi Kelly so my sister's in chat as well now <sighs> what he's done dirty bastard yeah I am low on nurses I need more nurses uh, grumpy short-tempered no angry and expiring yeah as long as you keep fed you're all right uh, cheese for brains no motivated and a natural mentor yes yeah, Sherry I have a sister She was stalking Brina the other night while we were raiding. She has also streamed before in the past. Like she's done, was it? It was um, Grand Theft Auto, wasn't it? She ran the proper Rockstar streams and everything. Speak truth to power, and sometimes kick it in the shins. I'm Harrison Wolf, and this is Two Point Radio. Right, so. Small marketing campaign is done. <sighs> so these are the big community challenges they do, the Superbug Network. So we need Grey Anatomy, we need Trained Doctors, and we need Cure Patients. That one. So let's do animal magnetism because this is the one we're supposed to be here to be curing and we'll make it six months. Uh, just habit. I like putting windows in. I like putting plants everywhere. And I like sneaking gnomes into rooms where people can't see them. Who's got a gnome? See, look. GP's office? Gnome. Psychiatrists? Gnome. Staff room? Gnome. Even a gnome in the toilets. Famous actor Roderick Cushion, star of the Perilous Spandex films, is interested in visiting the hospital. Shall we invite him in? 
Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, new illness, Jazz Hand discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Jazz Hand. A hand injury caused by too much enthusiastic thumb clicking, hand waving, and skin burns resulting from prolonged exposure to acid jazz. We'll send them to the ward. Right, is there anybody waiting for this? I want to see what this looks like. There is. Were you Adam? <gasps> Look, he's got like hamsters and stuff stuck to his arms. <laughs> Come on. Head back to that room. I want to see what the machine looks like. a mime sliding his way along the corridor. Oh, another dead person. <sighs> I think I'm going to need a couple more janitors, you know. You could deal with ghosts. You're hygienic, but you're nausea-inducing. You want more money. You're motivated, we'll have you. And you're Inspiring, hungry, and charming will have you as well. Right, ultrasonic cannon. I want to see what this thing looks like. Where are you? Mr. Spoon. Research and investigative work. I found out that holistics was born from a staff challenge. Get a level. Nah, go away. Wildly successful as you can imagine. Then one day, some sticks for a couple the nurses are taking their time. The rest, as the fella says, is history. There we go. So now we've got a nurse in here. Come on, in you go. See what this thing does. <laughs> it literally shoots the animals off him. Yeah, look at how busy it's getting now. And we've got more people dying. But we're not that bothered because we just need the cure 10 patients. Might need a couple more GP's rooms though. And why is there no psychiatrist in there? We're going to need another psychiatrist. Or can we train one? <sighs> Bots. Psychiatry. Hundred ninety five, thirty, twenty, sixty. Ooh. Train those two. We need more psychiatrists. I bought. Hi Beth! I am currently trashing this hospital. Or trying not to. Yeah, we definitely need more psychiatrists and definitely need more GPs as well. So, we'll use up a bit of this space for it. We'll cheat and copy and paste. <laughs> yeah, you're all fired. Maintenance required in injection. 
Right, we'll stick a couple more GPU offices in. Get some doctors into work in them as well. So, uh, ba -ba -ba. plants. You're on the wrong side. There. Why will it not be put one in there? Oh, it's because of the doors. Right. Benches then. And then we're going to need even more doctors. So we've got Hygienic Green Fingers Entertainer. You go in there. We've got Charming and High Energy go in there. We're going to get more psychiatrists, so let's build another psychiatry as well, and copy, and yeah, paste. There is a way to save these rooms as well, and I can't remember how I do it. But it means that I'd just be able to, like if I went to a different map and I wanted to use that lay room layout, I could just grab it and paste it straight away. But I can't remember how I'm supposed to do it. So for now I am just building them every level. Right. Staff promotion, you can be promoted. Boxstar Emergency, a local barbershop quartel. Quartet called the Four Freds wrongly believes they're about to embark on a massive stadium tour. They haven't even arranged for anyone to run their barber shop. Their families are sending them for treatment for Mockstar. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Yes. Um, no. Get promoted. So we have extra psychiatrists now. So that should bring the queue down a bit. Um, bu bu bu. Publicity updates. Roderick Cushion was impressed with our hospital. He wants to make a movie. Same as last time. So we need drinks machines and stuff for here. So a drinks machine and a luxury drinks machine. And then benches. All the benches in the world. I placed that one wrong. There. Snack machine and a salty snacks machine. There. You know what, I think we might have to just make a a giant campaign for that animal magnetism because we're having bugger all people come in with it. Um, yeah, GPs, psychiatry's gone down a bit now. Now I've got two of them. So, uh grab an extra nurse or two because we always need more nurses natural mentor but lazy natural mentor and you're good in the pharmacy so we'll have you and we've got will barnacle tireless and a heartthrob good at diagnosis and stamina and stat and in the pharmacy and he's good at training other people so cool we'll have you where have my other assistants gone are they both on break Booker it we'll 
It's potential motivated nasty and funny cheats for a bit uh, we'll just have one that way they can sort of rotate in and out if they need to <gasps> Beth playing with the emotes Um, ba -ba -ba. We've completed the income challenge. We're in second place. Staff training required. Um, yeah, we can do a bit of training. We'll grab. We've got no training. Both these two. And we will train you to deal with ghosts because that's always useful. So you're 195% speed, 160. Yeah. We'll get our new janitors able to pick up and put away ghosts. See, look, I build all these benches and no bugger sits down, they just wander around everywhere. But if I don't put the benches there, they start complaining that they've got nowhere to sit. Lazy bastards. See what I am going to do though. Put a news agent in. Yeah, you can go there. Hire an assistant to work in it. Oh, you're good. Hygienic and inspiring. Yes, you can work in the news agents. You can do retail stuff. Come on. There. So this area is okay. I'll put a little radiator here. There. Um, and a plant because everywhere needs more plants. Yeah, I was telling everybody earlier, Beth, how unfair it is at our place that call centre staff and related staff get Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off and, like, warehouse is closed from, what, like, the 21st till the 2nd of January? Same for marketing and all that. this and the next research project shall be um, which of these have we been using chromotherapy yeah like the warehouse is completely closed and they're not opening until like January same goes for marketing and stuff like that yeah we normally have to work Christmas Eve this is the first year where we've not actually had to do Christmas Eve. I've completed that bit. Train three doctors. Yeah. Reducing prices a bit would improve the hospital, but I don't want to. This is the rich area, they can afford it.
I'm just going to stock up on janitors. There we go. Hey, janitors. Turn that specific one down. Where is that animal magnetism gone? Uh, there. All this mess over here with the janitor's got a con. Staff. Are you all in the main building? You are as well. Um You are listening to Harrison Wolf on two point radio. A lot of people called in trying to get all this mess. Fix it. What have you been paid for? Congratulations to Emma Tremolo, who gets the tickets. For the record, the first line of the ritual is, We worship at the altar of good, clean fun. Be nice to each other. Let's have a groovy time. Oof, chilling words. Right, Dave. No, you saw a woman shooting hamsters off a guy. He was infested with them. Well done, we successfully earned 100 grand. So, we still need to do more training. Uh, how many doctors need training? Assistant, consultant. Robert Flog. Oh, you're the research specialist, aren't you? So, research two. Yeah, this hospital is getting messy now. Okay, really busy. <laughs> Q's gone down on psychiatry, though. So we're all right there. That's barely getting used at the moment. It's the new rooms that are getting busy. So Pan's lab, injection. Oh yeah, we've got GP's offices over here, haven't we? To all this mess, bastards. Oh shit, I forgot to put bins in here, that's why. Bins. Bins. There. Now there should be less mess because they have somewhere to actually put the mess. So, staff training required? Not yet. We have people being trained at the moment, you can wait. See? Look at this area, all nice and clean because I have pins down. Forgot to put bins in here, absolute mess. We need one more cure. One more.
upgrade you again, it'll go even faster. Yeah, sometimes you can deal with the queues just by upgrading it, because the better upgraded it is, the faster the machine actually works. I don't know. Like, it's not like I don't have toilets. Granted, they're a little small, but maybe I should have built toilets in the older building as well. Yeah, let's build a staff room and some toilets in here. Um, build. I say staff room there. Yeah, there's no actual patients coming this way, so. We'll have a corridor going to the toilets. And, oh, look! Dear Hospital Administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, the hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. A fine town is deserving of a fine hospital, don't you think? Of course you do. That's precisely what you've begun developing. Top drawer. Your efforts in the world of marketing have not gone unnoticed. May your corporate siren song bring forth a bounty of cash-rich sickos. If you grow tired of making us money, I suggest you venture eastward to the country's most toilety region. So for that, we have unlocked three new hospitals we could go to, and we've unlocked the cafe room. So, and to get two stars, we need reputation of 80%, which we've got. Hospital value of 2 million, which were three quarters of the way there. Two marketing campaigns and 20 people cured in the fraction wood. So, I am going to build these rooms. Put some more sofas in. radiator for this room and we'll need we'll give them some arcade machines shall we and then a couple of coffee machines uh, plants because everywhere needs plants And award season. Let's see if we won anything. So first up we have Rising Star is Oz. Goes to Na Naomi McIntosh at our place. Employer of the Year we've got... Flemington for the Trouble Foundation. So that's us again. Next we have no deaths, because, yeah, screw that, we always have people dying. Best teaching hospital goes to us, because we've been training people. Patient's Choice Award goes to us. Most prestigious hospital goes to us. Yeah, we're cleaning this up now. Best research hospital goes to us. And hospital of the year goes to us. So we got everything other than no deaths. And Sherry didn't win any of them. 
Yeah, but keeping patients alive isn't on our targets, so we're fine. Had what you might call an epiphany this morning. This is how these hospitals work. So there's our staff room. We will build more toilets. Because we need more toilets. There. We need hand dryers. Plants need water. Right. We will need a large radiator for this room. Uh, plants. And a gnome, because everywhere needs a gnome. And then... Oh! I did not notice those. So I'll be getting them next time. And we're going to have golden toilets. But yeah, hand sanitizer. Uh, da, da, da. Good shout, Beth. And sometimes I can go there for now. I'll tell you what. We'll put the bins equidistant in here and stick another hand sanitizer next to the door. Sorted. There's temperature, attractiveness. So we need a couple more radiators. We'll stick a big radiator over this way. And a smaller one down this end. There we go. So, yeah, it's half past. So, I will be finishing here for tonight and I think seeing as we're still doing cures in the ward and stuff uh, we will continue with this hospital I'm not gonna go and get three stars off stream we will continue with this one and get two stars on stream maybe three stars depending upon how tough the actual three stars is because that could take forever Oh, you're too late then, aren't you, Kelly? So yeah, I'll be back again on Saturday. We'll be doing more Deliverers of the Moon on Saturday and continuing with that story. Uh, the Tuesday afterwards, I think Monday... Is, this, is it the Sunday Monday when Alex is doing his 24-hour stream? I need to check. Oh, Saturday, Sunday... is when Alex is doing his 24 hour stream this week so head on over to Alex's channel over the weekend I'll be out oh Friday Saturday I'm being thick so yeah Friday Saturday Alex is doing his 24 hour stream so head on over there there are prizes to the win you can help decide what terrible 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 pokemon tattoo he gets uh, i personally shall be voting for ditto and so yeah friday saturday alex is doing his 24 hour and cool i will add you on steam through so we can do the challenges and stuff as well and i will see you all Friday, Saturday in Alex's stream. 
and then Tuesday next week I will be doing my Christmas screen so I might even have my camera on and Christmas things on and we might do some multiplayer games and stuff so I will see you all then and let's go and find someone to raid shall we see who's online who do we know because I am to getting to raid people and I'm always getting shouted at for not not raiding people Right, let's see what we've got. Who is online? Oh, oh yeah, Alex. Alex has gone live. So we will raid over to Alex then. For Back for Blood. And I will start mine installing. Bye everybody. And you're all right, Trua. Enjoy yourselves, and I will see you all soon. Nurse wanted on the wall. 